Hey guys, Coach Bill Sandel coming to you from Chandler, Arizona. I'm going to share with you another video that somebody sent me. Um, this one is about Cody Bellinger, and it's from Dodgers Center. And it's Jerry Harrison Jr. kind of going off on uh, Cody Bellinger, but then blaming hitting gurus. And then going on this rant about hitting gurus, about how hitting gurus can't, never played baseball, never played baseball at the high level, so they don't understand the speed of the game. This is amazing. So I'm gonna wa I'm gonna let you watch the video, and then we'll come back and talk about it. I love this kid. It, it has been crushing to to see this, and I've said it a month ago, two months ago, last year. He made the adjustment right before the postseason, had his bat straight up. And I said it, this is gonna be my, my fourth or fifth time saying it. I love Cody Bellinger like he would be my son. He's not gonna be able to hit like this. He can't hit like this. You have that flat bat, you you can't hit like this. I'm sorry. You're straight up, you're not in an athletic position. It is, you're such a good athlete that you're able to hit 200 this way. If you weren't a great athlete, you'd hit about a, bu a buck, if that. He doesn't put himself in position to hit. He's making it so hard on himself. He's one of the best athletes in the world, and he's unathletic in the batter's box. That is the biggest conundrum to me. And what's surprising when you say that he's unathletic, he says he feels more comfortable that way, or when he tries other ways, it doesn't feel comfortable oh. to him. Well, I, I used to love having a high leg kick. That felt great to me, couldn't hit like that. I had to quiet my leg kick, and I raked with a quiet leg kick. Some things, We'll feel comfortable in BP, and you will rake in BP, but it's the big leagues, the movement. You can't, you have hitting gurus, and you have swing coaches that never played in the big leagues. They don't understand big league movement. You can have a nice swing, you hit 55 mile an hour in BP. Oh, look at the launch angle, that's awesome. They've never faced big league movement. It's a whole nother ball game. I'm sorry. It's a whole nother ball game. He is too talented of a young man, too good of a player to keep doing the same thing over again. And it, stop doing this. You're, you want to come here, then here. Keep it here. You're too good of a player, man. I, again, I, he needs to go back to the same swing you had in the postseason, even if it doesn't feel comfortable to you. It worked for you. Let it stay there for a while until it feels comfortable because that should be your swing. You're, is killing me seeing him like this. Okay, guys, so you watch that video. He starts to talk about Cody Bellinger being this athletic guy, one of the most athletic guys, how he loves him. He's like a son. And then in the middle of his rant about Cody's swing, how he can't hit, he's, he's such an athlete and he's hitting 200, right? He goes on this rant with hitting gurus. What does hitting gurus have to do with Cody Bellinger's swing right now? He doesn't use a hitting guru. I know Cody Bellinger. I know his family. I live in Arizona. Okay? First of all, I like Cody Bellinger. I like his family. I like what he does. Right? Um, but Cody Bellinger doesn't use a, a hitting guru. Cody Bellinger just sold his house on an air park. He had a batting cage in his house. Okay? Okay? I know where he trains. I've seen, I've talked to guys. I know pro guys that have worked out next to him. Um, Cody Bellinger doesn't use a hitting guru. So Jerry Hairston calls us. Um, so I think it's funny when you start making excuses for a major league guy. Cody Bellinger doesn't need uh, Jerry Harrison Jr. making excuses. All Cody Bellinger needs with his crew around him, including his dad and family, uh, he's got enough educated guys around him that he can make the changes in his swing necessary to succeed. Yes, he's doing some stuff that he shouldn't. Yes, I don't believe he's staying back on the ball, he's staying tall and he's moving forward. But again, you're not asking my opinion about it. If you asked me my opinion about Cody Bellinger and I worked with Cody Bellinger, I'd be able to help him. There's a lot of things I think he's doing wrong, but it's not my place. He's a major league guy. He's got major league hitting coaches on the staff. Come on, guys. Jerry Hairston Jr., stop making excuses. You're, you're blaming the wrong people. And it has nothing to do with just being an athlete. Just being an athlete allows you to make athletic moves in the box, but you still need 
proper swing mechanics. You still need to grind on your swing every day. I tell people this all the time. The swing is, you can't take anything off in the swing. You can't be complacent. You can't just be okay with what you're doing. You gotta continue to work on it. You gotta continue to reinvent yourself. You gotta understand the movements, the biomechanics of the swing, how your body moves, where you're supposed to be, timing. These are all the things that these guys aren't talking about. Yeah, I love it when big league guys uh, say, oh, I, I used to leg kick, and then I quieted my leg kick down, and I raked. You don't even know a reason why you leg kick. Leg kick is not about uh, I'm high leg kick, so I'm supposed to rake. It's a timing mechanism. It's about foundation. It's about tempo. You don't even understand what a leg kick does. Just to say, oh, I stopped my leg kick, so I raked. Really? Well, maybe you got quicker, you got up more on time because you didn't have to fool with a leg kick. But that's what a leg kick does. It's timing. It's tempo. It's syncing up. It's lagging. But you don't know what that means, and it's okay. Only hitting gurus does. People that actually spend time working on their craft, studying video, doing this every single day. Guys like you and Jeff Fry, they, you don't know what you're talking about. You're just ex-big league guys who like to go on a rant because you have a platform because you play big league ball, but you don't educate yourself. You know, if you educated yourself on the swing, you'd be able to talk about it more, more intelligently. And just to rant on gurus is not the way to go. Okay? And by the way, if Cody Bellinger wants to have a great swing, he can work at it. He can have the work ethic that is needed to have a big league swing consistently over time. Not one or two good years. Have an MVP season and then falling off means you're not working at it. You're not doing the things that got you there. Okay, so Cody Bellinger can be the best Cody Bellinger he can be. And I like him and I'm sure he can be a great major league player for years to come. But again, like everything else in life, like everything else we work on with these pro guys, you have to work at it every day and not take time off. But don't tell me it's because of hitting Guru's fault when you're not addressing the real issue. Because we're not talking about Major League Baseball as a whole. Because every single team in Major League Baseball has two hitting coaches now. Sometimes three. A performance coach. Video analysis guy. Come on, you gotta stop making excuses when organizations are trying to work with analytics. They're trying to work with the swings. And they have five and six guys on staff. And the guys are still not hitting 300s because they're not adapting to the style. And they're not changing when there's something wrong. The definition of insanity, okay? My boy, Shea Hillenbrand, talks about stuff like this all the time. Reinventing yourself, respect, vision. you got to work at this stuff every single day. And if Major League players have the ego of being a Major League player and they don't want to listen to guys who didn't play and they still want to bat 200, who's the dummy? Who's the real idiot here? The guy that doesn't want to change because somebody who didn't play big league ball is trying to help him? Or continuing to hit 200 and think it's okay? Well, then you're right. You're a big league guy, you're right, and you continue to hit 200. Go ahead. Or reach out for help because guys that are educated and can help will help you. This is about career moves. This is about making money. This is about family and legacy for you. The thankless job is hitting coaches. The guys that actually are in the trenches knowing what they're doing and trying to help somebody. So thank you to my buddy who sent that to me, um, who understands the swing, who understands deep barrel turn, understands what the role of uh, hitting gurus are, and is educated enough to send that video to me to say, listen, we have to wake up. And it's not the hitting gurus have to wake up. It's the ex-major leaguers that don't want to change their methodologies or their mindset because they're stuck in ego and not intelligence. Hey, okay. and lastly, guys, before you go off on a rant, because you think I don't have any experience at all, I've watched over 2,500 minor league games and over 1,000 at the major league level because I did work 15 years in pro ball. I did work with eight professional baseball teams. Okay, And I did work with some amazing coaches at the big league level and at the minor league level. So before you go on in this rant and thinking, I don't know what I'm talking about, I have enough dirt under my cleats 
to, to really, really address some of the stuff that's going on in baseball when, when you talk about hating gurus, okay? So again, Cody Bellinger, he's going to be fine. He's going to work at his craft. He's going to do fine. All he's got to do is change some things and understand them, some things, okay? All right, have a good week. Yes, sir. Baby, I'm a boss. They say yes, sir. So shout out to myself. That's my investor. Uh -huh. Made another mill. Let's run it back like Devin Hester. Uh -huh. Pistol in my dresser. Yeah. Baby, this is silk, not polyester. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yeah. Baby, I'm a boss. They say yes, sir.